are in uh, Nyandarua County, we are doing uh, four, nat four natural ponds, yeah, Urathen ponds and two lined ponds. I've constructed around uh, over 400 ponds. The procedures to follow in doing uh, these projects is that first we do the, the survey. The first consideration we do is uh, check on the water, water source. Yeah? It has to be a clear source of water and uh, from there we will even take a sample of that water, go and test, check on the, the water quality. We also check on the type of the soil. Can it be able to retain water? A good pond, first of all, uh, if it can be drainable, the better. Like the way we are doing now this natural pond, you see after doing that survey, we've seen where the, the slope can be. As you can see, uh, the shallow end is that side, and uh, here we are now doing the, 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 the deeper end. The, the tools that we need uh, for uh, pond construction, they are just common tools. Number one, we need uh, a, a jembe, which we use for digging. Then uh, we have a mattock, which you can just sit there. Then spades, we need spades to remove the, to remove the soil. Then we improvise on uh, compactors, the ones we use to now press the, the soil that it maintains the retainability. Then uh, we use a uh, spirit level, it is very important. Uh, because you need to know the levels of the pond, like the, 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 the top most part of the pond should all be level, though underneath we have both the uh, shallow end and, 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 the, and the deep end and the, and the triangle, so that you do uh, a clear pond. Then we need uh, improvised uh, stretchers, like now we are digging pond when it is raining, so sometimes it is very hard to use spade to remove the soil, so we improvise on the on the stretchers, we call them improvised stretchers, so that we can um, transport the soil to the dikes. We use also a, a wheelbarrow. Yeah, those are some of the common tools that we need for a proper pond construction.